How's it? Sean from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Six of Swords. And there's the Six of Swords card over there. Alright, cool. Let's get started. The image shows a woman and a child in a boat being rowed in the water to a land that is on the other side. We can gather from the images that the woman and the child are leaving something behind as their backs are faced towards us. The woman's head is covered with a cloak. Perhaps she's fleeing something and must go without others knowing her true identity. We can assume that because of this she's undergoing great loss or sadness. The symbolism is that of loss or change as well as moving towards a future that looks more promising than the one that we left behind. The six swords alongside the boat symbolize the strong power of the rational mind compared to the intuition and the heart. Alright, the six of swords. Now all swords denote intelligence, the element of air, the zodiac sign Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Alright, so you are, you are at a crossroads in life, either by chance or circumstances, and make a decision to move on in your life in a totally new direction. You are on a spiritual quest or an intellectual pursuit to leave the difficulties behind you. It may indicate a new place or moving to a new residence or taking a trip. Now here are the key words. All right. Light at the end of the tunnel. A solution. New course of action. Change. Release. Travel. New horizons. Liberation. Departure. And transitions. So these are the positions in the Celtic Cross. All right, so we've got a video. We did a reference guide to the Celtic Cross. We have a video and suggested videos. If you look on the top right-hand corner of this video, it's, there's a video called the Celtic Cross. It's a reference guide. It goes through all the positions. You can see how the cards are all laid out and how they're all interrelated. So that covers the positions. So you won't understand this if you don't go and look at that first. So go have a look at that before you carry on. All right, so key position number one, situation A. You attain some distance from the situation in order to have a better perspective of what is truly happening. B. Smooth sailing in the direction means balancing ethics and morals that cannot be ignored. C. Your situation holds a strong possibility of finding a solution. D. Sometimes the only way to fix a problem is to leave. Things can only improve for the better. And E. You are the crossroads in life and need a new direction and decisions to be made. All right, so flag position number two, challenge. A, travel or be alone for a while to sort out your ideas and values. B, rededicate your life and make a fresh start. C, become aware of new ways to bring balance in your life. D, parts of your personality come together. Your perspectives are changing. E, Regenerate your lifestyle, beliefs, or attitudes. All right, questions. A. Where is your life right now? Is mental clarity important? B. Step back from the problem to gain some perspective on the issue. And what do you see? Okay, so these are the Six of Swords in the upright position and the Six of Swords in the reverse position. In other words, upside down. Okay, this is how you interpret them in these two positions. All right, so life is filled with moments when you're going to be forced into letting go of the things that you've become attached to. This will be challenging. The Six of Swords shows the sadness that you may be feeling, but you'll have to remember that the pain will not last, so you should look ahead to the future for strength. Things are going to improve for the better. In life, there'll be times that the only way to fix a problem is to leave it alone and move on to start anew and to objectively think about where you are now, where you've been, and where you want to go. The important part is to plot your new course that will lead you to happiness. Intuition can help, but you'll need to think logically to ensure your success. All right, so the Six of Swords in the reverse position. In other words, upside down. Okay, Six of Swords reversed can indicate that you've been trying to move on and make the transitions you need. However, you may be experiencing challenges, making it difficult to move on. You may keep returning to the past, whether it's because there are issues that are not resolved or you are questioning your decisions. Okay, so another reversal meaning is that you've been resisting the changes that life is giving you. You may feel you are being forced into making moves before you wanted to, or you do not want to move at all. In this case, you should think about the benefits of the moves instead of the drawbacks. 
All right, so that's it for the Six of Swords. Okay, the next video is going to be on the Seven of Swords, as you see here right in front of you. That's our next vid. All right, so please like this video, share it with all your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel. It's free. We're doing this awesome playlist on the tarot and all the history and the cards. And leave comments and suggestions. Very important. All right, so this is uh, Sean from Mel's YouTube book site, YouTube channel. Until our next video on the Seven of Swords, good day on you.